Hello Pisces, welcome to your reading for March 2020. This is the Spiritual Centre and I am Sonia Parker and the message that I'm getting for you for this month is follow the winds of change. And this is from the oracle card that I have here on the table. Now please watch the whole reading as I will be doing a Celtic cross with the Universal Tarot and also at the end a special message from the spirit world for you and also a gift of a free personal reading. Stay tuned Pisces for your mark. Welcome Pisces. Okay, so the card that we have for the overall energy is horse and freedom. And the words on the card is your heart is pure and free. A greater purpose calls you. You will have unlimited reserves of stamina and strength. Follow the winds of change and accomplish your dreams. Okay, so what I'm picking up for you with this card is you're about to go further than anyone thought possible. And there's always a surprise with you. You know your strength and others do not know how strong you are. And if you've lost your way a little bit lately, then now is the time to take back control of the reins. You are your own leader. Change is coming. I also sense a lack of freedom. You're being held somewhere that you shouldn't be. So embrace the winds of change. Blow out the cobwebs. Take the strength of the horse to give you the direction you are seeking. Now the week beginning the 9th of March, which is after the full moon, a really powerful full moon. It's going to be a love-filled week for you, a deeper understanding, a deeper commitment, maybe even a marriage proposal as well. So whatever the reasons or situations that you're in around love, know that they will take a turn for the better this month. And the winds of change will bring in someone new if you're looking for love or bring in something new if you're already in a relationship. Okay, so now if that message did resonate with you, with the horse, please type yes in the comments and let me know. It's lovely to hear if the, if the reading does resonate with you. Okay, so let's put that one on there. We'll keep him on the table. I will try and fit all the cards onto the table for you it is a celtic cross um although it's it's laid out like this it's so that i can fit it all into the shot but i will show you each card individually anyway okay so the card that we have on the bottom of the deck is the four of wands the four of wands is about your home it's it's the words of the the number four really stability strength celebration as well and i do sense that the home is important in this month's reading as well okay so let's see what's going on around you pisces and we have the devil the devil is for me someone around you that you are spending time with that's not good for you um where your energy gets trashed someone that you actually need to cut the chains from now if we look here these people are it's almost as though they're not they're tied but it's to his tongue there what the devil does is actually give you the keys to freedom but only if you want them. You stay in a situation if you want to. 
it's totally free will whether you want to stay in that situation or step outside and move away okay what's stopping you moving away and we have the six of pentacles reversed the six of pentacles is your energy your money it could be financial reason reasons that you are staying where you are it could be um, your own energy as well I feel that your it's the way your attention goes energy flows and your attention is not going to where you want to be it's more or less held in a time warp, held in space I'm not sure if you know where it is you want to be either. That's where the strength of the horse comes in. Think of the words that were on that card. Freedom. Think about what the devil gives you. Freedom. And I feel that's a really important message that's coming through for you for March. What's led up to this? And we have justice. And I don't think justice has been served for you. I don't think you have got justice in lots of situations um, around you. And that is why maybe you're reluctant to uh, move forward with this in the way you want to, with the strength and nobility and the strength that you have to be able to move forward with it. Uh, something is stopping you. Um, I think justice will be served. Justice will be served. Your subconscious, the message from your subconscious, the five of pentacles. And I feel that even without you realising it, you do not want to be left out in the cold with nothing. And this stops you from gaining the freedom that you're seeking. I feel self preservation is words that are being given to me around this situation okay so what does your higher spiritual self want to say it's the page of wands it's almost the spirit of saying here yeah, here's that fire here's that spark here's that determination only you can make it happen no one can do it for you get out there do it um we're giving you this gift this new idea we're giving you this new creation it's up to you what you do with it okay the here and now and we have the nine of cups i think this word is or words two words are really important to you unconditional love unconditional love just think about that for a moment how hard is it to love unconditionally I'll be surprised if there's another human being that can love unconditionally 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days of the year without judgment. Unconditional love is without judgment. So from that point of view, you're in a really good place. The other thing with the Nine of Cups is you could be selfish. It could be uh, self-love is just a little bit too much. Okay, so what do you need to do this month? And we have the Nine of Swords. And if we look, she's asleep on the grass and all the swords are pointing down at her. Now, they're not actually touching her. And what the Nine of Swords says is, you might not be sleeping very well. You could be having sleepless nights. You could be worrying about this or worrying about that. The reality is those worries are in your mind, especially if they're over a situation that um, you have no control over. Again, think of the word freedom. So take the, just change your thought pattern completely. And don't be focused on a situation. Focus your thoughts onto, and your energies onto something completely different. Okay, so how will others be affected around you? And we have the two of cups. 
and I feel very much that this whole reading is around relationships because I almost feel as though there's two people here making a choice um, with the devil it's about a relationship and now you've got that soulmate connection that soulmate connection needs to be nurtured it needs to have energy put into it it needs to have that strength and stability of the horse. Think of these two cards that's your final outcome for March. You are about to be set free. Your heart is pure and it needs to be free. Okay, in your fears position, we have the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands, if you look, is, is, is she's totally trapped around all of these one, she's got a fox there and a wolf. Fox is sly. A fox is sly. And the wolf, I always think of a sheep in wolf's clothing. Who is the sheep in wolf's clothing? And who is being sly around you? These are the things that are going through your mind, which is causing this. You need to be trust people more. You need to have faith in the people that are around you. Um... And allow things to just happen. Just allow things to be. Okay, you have free will. Before the final outcome, you can decide and make choices. So whatever this card is, you have the free will to change it. And we have the Queen of Wands. So it's almost as though that page of wands has grown by the time you get to the end of the month. This could well be a fire sign around you, a strong female fire sign. It's actually going to guide you through this process of freedom and being free, of setting your heart free and being where you should be. Okay, so as promised, let's do a card from... The Messages from Heaven Oracle Deck. And I do feel this message is coming from a lady in the spirit world. Actually, this could be a couple in the spirit world because I'm feeling a lady and a man join me here. Okay, so let's see what your message is from spirit. Okay, oh, and we have the frog. In fact, there's four frogs. And the words on the card, have you laughed today? Find your joy, lift your soul. And I feel this is really important. Now, the frog has appeared quite a lot in um, things in my life in the last week or so i'm not a pisces but i do know other pisces but the fog has appeared quite a lot and the fog teaches us many things but it teaches us to um adapt to whichever environment we're in he starts life as a spawn inside a pond becoming a tadpole being able to swim in the water and then being on land as a frog so he's teaching us about to adapt to all of the different situations that come in to our lives on a daily basis. Teaches us to cope with those situations as well. And I also feel that he, it's about transformation with the fog. And the key words that I got at the beginning, follow the winds of change. This is what the frog does. He goes through all these different stages in life and he follows those pathways. And this is what you need to do. Follow the winds of change. Allow that change to come. Allow that change to embrace you. Well, I hope you enjoyed the reading, Pisces. If you did, then please like, comment and subscribe. And please also um, share the videos. And as promised, a free personal reading. 
just pop over to my website, thespiritualcenter.net, and sign up to the monthly newsletter. I choose a free personal reading every single month. The link will be in the comments. And also take a look at some of my other videos that are in the description as well. Bless you for watching. I hope you all have a beautiful March.